When we make our action figures, we want them to be in proportion to a normal human body. If you look at these rough guidelines, it shows you how the proportions work in the human body. You generally start with the head and then measure the rest of the body according to the amount of heads you need for however old the person is. Like the title says, it is a very general average proportion and everyone is different but it's a good place to start, especially when you are just drawing a random person or figure like we will be doing today. To help us get the correct portions of an adult, we have a template here. What you're going to do is cut out each piece of the template. Be very careful when you're cutting because if you cut it short or too long, it will affect the proportions of the overall body. Once you have all your pieces cut out, you're going to put them together kind of like a puzzle. The numbers on the arms and legs match the numbers on the torso. So the one goes on top of the one, the two goes on top of the two. It's important you put each number right on top of the same number so that the proportions are correct. You want your person to be in an action pose, not just standing still doing nothing. We're going to use masking tape to connect them together so you can kind of play around with it and move them around as you want. Now that your figure is all put together, we're going to trace them on a piece of construction paper. We're going to trace them three times since we're being inspired by Jacob Lawrence's artwork and he used repetitions of three as you can see in the examples at the beginning of this video. Ideally, you can fit all three figures on one piece of construction paper so that we're not wasteful. So start with your first figure all the way on one side and then it usually helps if you turn the second one upside down because we're going to end up cutting these out so it doesn't matter that it's upside down. And then the third one, do right side up. Depending on how your figure is arranged, you might need another piece of paper, but save the big chunk of paper for someone who could use it. For the background of this project, you're going to take a 12 by 18 piece of drawing paper. Listen to some music to help inspire some creative lines. Use markers to draw your lines across the paper. I recommend to draw them across the short side of the paper so you can draw more lines. I also recommend you switch colors of your markers each time you draw a line. Remember that we can repeat shapes across the paper to create a line. The possibilities are endless. After you draw your lines with marker, color in between with crayon or colored pencil. Press very hard with your crayon or colored pencil so that the colors are bright and vibrant, just like Jacob Lawrence's work. Here we have our background completed and our three figures cut out. I did want to show you what to do if you have a hole in the middle of your figure. Take your scissors and fold the paper just a little bit in the middle of the hole and then cut a slit in the center of it. Then you can poke your scissors in there and cut around on the line as best you can. Then you're going to take your three figures and lay them out and try to find a nice arrangement, a nice composition. You might have to overlap your figures a little bit, but the main thing is you want to space them out nicely and put them in a position that is interesting and shows the action. You might angle them a little bit or put them one of them upside down or flip one or two of them over. You'll have to decide what works best for your project. When you're finished laying them out, go ahead and glue them, and then your project is complete.